The sight of cattle being rounded up by men on horseback is something you might associate with the plains of Wyoming or Texas, but maybe not Dartmoor. Well, the use of working horses on the moor goes back centuries, and farmer Philip Hurd is one of a small number keeping this tradition alive. Well, Justin Featherstone rode up on the moor to rendezvous with Dartmoor's very own cowboy. <laughs> Justin, what is the attraction of using horses up on the moor? Um, well, a horse is quiet. You haven't got the engine as opposed to a quad bike. You haven't got the engine popping in your background. Um, we, we can approach a bunch of cattle like this. They're not going to walk very far. They might look at us. But because we're quiet, they aren't perceived as a threat, and you can just get in amongst them. But when we do need to move them, they've got a natural respect for a horse. And as soon as I sort of put a little bit of pressure on them, they'll move quite easily, but without getting too stressed and trying to take off too fast. Go on. Hip. She'll sort of move at the same speed as what the cattle will. We can sort of come up to a bunch of cattle. They're not phased by us, even though there's two of us and a dog. They're not startled. We can probably walk right through the middle of them, I expect. Cattle farming has always been in the herd family and Philip has inherited his love for horses from his father, Courtney. When you ride on a horse, like you're, you stand in the stirrups and you canter on, you move every bone in your body, you're fit and you can do anything. And I love riding horses. There for 40 years, I rode a horse practically every day. It's absolutely marvellous. Well, I do love horses, I do love riding, and to get out here, you can be pushing along 100 cow, just yourself, dog, beautiful day you wouldn't see another soul all day absolutely it's good for the soul if you like i can put a lot of my problems right just coming in here for a day more skills is a vocational training initiative created to support traditional farmers such as philip justin colton explains some of the skills it covers all the normal things you need for any sort of farm with the added advantages of uh, quad driving um, droving, herding, you know, ponies, getting stock in off the moor, um, stonewalling, hedging, things that are typically Dartmoor, um, more, more Dartmoor than, uh, than lowland. Livestock farming is a key part of the Dartmoor landscape and it is the passion of farmers such as Philip combined with initiatives like More Skills that will preserve this way of life for generations to come. Justin Featherstone, BBC Spotlight, Dartmoor. Mm, the ultimate in green transport. Talk